to get this grand final started. On the CT side is Maus. Vitality starting on the attack. And Flames the one wielding that smoke. Oh, fast play towards... Oh, peace! <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that jump. Brolin warmed up perfectly. Apex is down and Vitality shift into plan B in the first 10 seconds. Which is just a smoke and a flash for Flames. They don't really have a lot of technical possibilities. Could be an apps pop. But we see that Mouse is absolutely ready for it. It's the double setup in here and Spins is going to take a risk. Lurking up rap side, Shuhei would get the spot, but with only two defenders here, one on the bomb side, this is actually a pretty weak site to hit. They're in trouble. They're in a lot of trouble. Mezzi has found Shuhei to equalize. They're wrapping, clearing library bomb on the back of Mezzi, and there's plenty of time for this. Jimmy's going to start getting very uncomfortable as the pressure is mounting from every angle at the same time. Simultaneously, contract flames the jump, the back of the head. It's Torji on the site, who's found himself a triple. How has he done that? He knows where Sphinx was. He's already posted a kill towards the pit. Damn. It's Torji, baby! He is present in this grand final. Yo, remember his USPs last night against Complexity as well? He demolished them, and it just continues here. True. That's a disgusting pistol round. And for a guy who has the tough task of having to match the production of the offer on the other side of the map, which is Zaiwu, that's a great way to get some momentum, great way to get some confidence early on in this map. Utility forces Vitality way, way back down Banana, cool. and they're just getting demolished. Yeah, they, they wanted to take this space from them, but there's bullets, nades, molotovs. Nade back onto Brolin's nice, but look at them. Their ears are ringing, their limbs are hanging off. It's Apex at nine, Zywu on one. And they can't even get past half wall. Exertion, the one to escort two off of the premises. Five alive. This second round, four spies going nowhere. Vitality try to play with pace, but I think Maus were absolutely ready for it. The utility oh. usage immediately. And they're going to do nothing. They're going to have nothing achieved. If Messi maybe could find another one, but it was a full purchase for Vitality. Nothing came out of it. Yeah, I mean, I'm obviously not going to criticize the call. going to go for a second round by, but at this point, when you look back on it, it was a waste of money. It oh, was worthless. They, they only get one kill out of it, and that's not good enough. So we'll see if that continues. Banana control for Mouse, aggressing behind the smokes. Up at the half wall, deep utility, a little bit of extra damage. Oh, and they're ready for it. Zaiwu pre-aiming for the boost. Exertion put in the dirt, his first death. And Zaiwu, his second frag. Jimmy on the little jiggle. And if he pokes his nose out again, he could be dead. It's big from Sphinx. Strong contributions. That was very nonchalant from Jimmy. He was hanging in that little gap for quite some time. Had a rough inferno as well yesterday. I think he himself said, I was not feeling the game. My timings were off. I was too passive. That's punished in the Roland. He's going to hit the deck as well. Vitality in control. They've let the frags come to them. They've waited for them. Great timing on both their opening kills. Zaiwu just finds a gap where Utility's not being thrown once Mouse has chucked out Molotov's and made, slides in for the opener. Sphinx does the same thing over in holes, and then the pause button gets him another. And you're right, Vitality in complete control this round and have all the information as well. At the entrance of this round, well, you know, now you're on your feet. Your first gun round. It's convincing, Zywoo's fragging. In terms of like kind of getting them situated in the server, you're in for the long haul here. This is a, a best of five grand final, and they just show that they're going to be putting up a fight tonight. It's going to be interesting to see if that Zywoo opening kill puts a slowdown on the pace of Mouse towards Banana. Do they want to keep fighting for it? We see his version, he's got the flash set up with Brolin, but it's a bit more timid, it's more reactive. I, I think it's not the, the Zai Wu kill, I think it's more the fact that Vitality waited out those uh, the, all that utility. I think they realized if Vitality's just going to wait that out, we should be a little bit more passive as well, save some of those nades, save, those, so save some of the utility until so we've got a better read of exactly where they are in Banana. It's coming in, it's just coming in a little bit later. There's the Molly, extinguished. Wow. Exertion blind, but Brolin saves his life. Gets the kill, backs away. That's team play. And they have not only found the, the kill, they've taken all of Banana away from Vitality. Pivoting now towards middle. Spings forward position, walking through the smoke. They're quite quick on this. They're just committing into the A site. Shuey. Has the back turn for the first. Jimmy combined. A multi-kill in defense of A. Sphinx can't get anything done, and it's Maus straight back to winning. Surgeon with a little bit of luck and success towards Banana, of course, as completely blind flash. He gets saved by Brolin. Hello. And the aggression continues. Ooh. 
dude. Oh, the jump. The jump spot, it doesn't matter. What a shot from... Oh, Shue lines up one through the smoke. Almost there on the spray. Oh my god, Mao's taking complete control and once again, up in your face. This is the Mao's we know and love. This is what they were doing in that semi-final against Complexity. Mount yeah. 3 just running it down ramp, fighting heaven. This is on Inferno, and they continue to just charge. A lot of people were critical uh, of Mao's when it came to these big playoff games about them trying to find the one scoreline. You've just basically checkmate Vitality as they try and rotate to the A side. You know Apex is probably scrambling a little bit. He's adjusting. There's a lot of feedback happening in the communications and then you just hit them. It's a reset point. There's no money in the bank for Vitality. Flames is all going to be about damage right now. You cannot just fall and leave four full armored Mao's players to put money in the bank. Oh, he's going to though. Not going to check Kobe. Oh, he will. He turns late, but Chue's there for the recovery. A little smile on his face. He's feeling good. Maus is up five to one. Let's see how they set Sphinx up. He's got the hero AK-47. You have to imagine he's going to be second. Looks like third in at the moment, but that flashbang is going to be perfectly primed. Exertion calls for it now. Oh, Flames was past it. A little bit late, and it's only one defender here. Maus is in trouble. Yeah, so it's Brolin specifically in a lot of trouble. Can he bail himself out? No, he can't. Zaiwu has contributed, finds the headshot with the recovered rifle of Exertion. No Instead util. 4v3 and no, yeah, no util to, to fend off the CTs, but headshots, that works! Takes down Shuey, very uncomfortable for Jimmy. Save call for Mouse now, Vitality have two. Torji doesn't want to lose that weapon, gonna back away. What a great round for Vitality. Flames just sneaks up before Exertion was ready behind Sandbags. Zaiwu's found some safety at Bells. Yeah, he, he manufactured a bit of safety with that smoke. Stops the incendiary from burning. He can still crawl a bit ahead of the internal timer. Look at Exertion. Already, the top banana is lost. I say that as he forces Zaiwu into the angle and a clean Damn. headshot. Respect. That's instantaneous. We might have another one. They really have put a lot of faith that Exertion has repelled the commitment. He's alone here. Yeah, no smoke, no Molotov. He might have one stockpiled over at the bench, and he does indeed. So gonna walk right on back. Uh -oh. They're already challenging. Oh my hey, God. Ooh, that's very deep. Very fortunate. It'll hold them at bay. They're not breaking the setup. It's just one HE grenade, and Vitality's knocking on the door. Sure, he's already behind. They're locked in. Exertion down, it's a big one from Mezzi. Clear of the smoke's good from Brolan. That's the bomb on Apex. He'll get the frag required to facilitate a plant. Shuey's flank is sharp. Nails the headshot onto Spinks. Bomb down, Apex and Flames have to put their heads together to try and overcome the number disadvantage. Molotov back deep. No one swings from the boxes. There's Apex. He's down. It's all on flames. He spots the second. Doesn't know where Torji is. Coming in late with the off. Utility used oh. in the open. Good trade. Really good trade from Jimmy, who's ready to spring into action. And that's six for Maus. And Apex has said it himself in interviews. When he's having a good game, we've heard it from Carrigan. When you're having a good game as an IGL, you feel so extra plugged in. Your calls are sharper. Your understanding of your reads of your opponent tend to be on the money, as is that shot from Torji through the wall and a nade to finish the job. Apex, he's not having fun right now. Doesn't want to oh, take risk. Oh, come on! He's working all the way for Mouse. Does he know about Zosian? Hears him. Oh. oh, he needed that one. Probably the team they had to put him down. He was getting too hot. Gets himself a double in defense of B. Flames empty handed on A and Yao yeah, Sphinx. They know he's the apps player. They'll have put two and two together. I think Vitality at this point just needs to concede the fact that Banana is a lost cause. They, they, That's they, right. It might be time to start going away from it and start trying to challenge in mid, maybe a little bit early, grab brackets, brackets control early in the round instead of Banana because you're losing way too many players. You're losing that engagement. Even when they go passive, it's not working out. And we're going back to one of the point of conversation we had, which is one, Saiwoo's performance overall, certainly looking more mortal right now, but also the entry kills. He's, uh, he's managed to force the whole team away. He's hit some tags through the smoke. He's thrown out one to delay them. Mezzi is going for the late clear now, but 30 seconds, the commitment is coming. Yeah, but this is the moment Vitality's been playing this round for. Look at the utility difference between the two teams. Smokes, flashes for Vitality, Hulls pop coming in. Only two of them here, Shuey and Jimmy. 
to be tested. Bomb in the apartments. They've dropped into the mini pit. Shuey set up. Jimmy needs to find a multi kill. He has combined with Shuey for one. It's Shuey again. He leads by example for Maus. It's only Apex and Mezzi. They don't even have the time for this. Shuey's done enough. Seven seconds. Another Jesus. one for Shuey. A triple kill. Apex is just going to have to go down. Try to hold on. Try to survive. But he does oh. just about. Well, there was a silver lining at the end, but what is that from Vitality? They're falling apart. Where's the rest of the punch? That was so disconnected, right? The mid players weren't even up brackets no, exactly. during those fights. I mean, I understand one of them might be looking, staying behind you, throwing the utility, that's fair, but one of Messi or Apex has to be closer. He yeah. has to be ready to trade. One of those players come up mid, and that CT who's in the open fighting in lane, essentially, is just dead after maybe one kill. This is a pale version of what looked like an absolute team of titans against FaZe and Astralis. Vitality have not started this grand final. Yeah, they're still in the starting blocks right now. It's a beauty of a best of five. That can change real quick between maps. And Vitality might have to count on it if it keeps going this way. It's surprising seeing Exertion only with nine kills, considering how much of a beast he's been in Banana. He's done such a good job controlling this part of the map and just being a presence. Man advantage for Vitality. That's good information taken by Jimpat towards A. They're leaving a whole lot of trust onto Exertion, but it has worked out. That's the timing. It's it. Saibu has to pounce. He's going to beat the smoke to it, and he's been pested immediately. Oh, just doesn't seem to be missing, nor Brolin through the smoke, finding Mezzi. It's a well-placed nade. It's Exertion down to just 3 HP. They won't be able to boost. Good awareness from Sphinx spamming away at the potential. Still a three versus three. Vitality just trying to find something to rectify the damage already done. Away in. This last round of the half. And Exertion will fall to flame. Solid work. Two remain. It's Torji and Jimmy. Fighting tooth and nail. Flames, he started this round with a bang. He's contributed three. And Jimmy just doesn't have the time for this. He can't find both of them. Sphinx is hiding. Apex closes. Vitality. Just a third. A third on top. Does that mean they can put up a fight in the second half? Well, we'll have to wait and see. And Mao's head towards the B bomb site where it's Apex playing deep towards CT spawn. Retake set up on the pistol. Four members of Vitality gonna push down middle and come in on the flank for this retake. He doesn't do as much as he may have hoped. He's trying to delay them, the flash, the spam, the nade. It's not really connected. They're playing retake with four charging up banana. Yeah, but that's an early spot from Torji. That takes a little bit of the hit out of this push. So they're actually going to take over CT spawn. Apex is backed all the way off, but Maus has infested all the way back into their territory. Yeah, now CT's clear. Rollins cleared it out. Now they can actually boost a bit of a roll reversal into the defense of this side. Looking too good for Maus. Glocks are connecting, farming. It's P250 from Torji. It's damn, it's 10 for Maus. The live analysis of what's happening, coming up with the solutions, realizing if we take CT now, if Apex is alone, we're going to just go at him, charge him, take that space, take that territory away from them. Maus is in the driving seat. Oh, he could be caught off guard by this. Roland tested. He's done well to find one. And now it gets awkward for Torji. Just about gets away with that onto Sphinx. Oh. God, that was close to finding Shuey. Torji was right next to him as well, so they are definitely not comfortable here for the conversion. Zaiwu, he's the one occupying A. Yeah, that's actually not a bad dink to get on Shuey as well. Two players low HP can get chewed up by these SMGs quickly, even with a disadvantage, but it's all about this route that Maus is taking around towards Rapside. Don't want to deal with the crossfire, want to use the long range into the A bomb site with their rifles. And yeah, Mezzi no has no clue. Mezzi has no idea. They're outplaying them, 100%. In every round. And there's no way back in. You have to save these, you have to save these MP9s. Spoke for damage, that's what you do. You but make a little bit of money. To find gaps like that against a team like Vitality, what does that, what does that show you? What does that tell you? I mean, obviously praise to Maus, but to see Mezzi completely unprepared for that potential, it's bizarre. I think it's just, I mean, look, it might be a risk that they're taking, but I, I figure at some point there's going to be some recognition. I like the there's communication be. between Mezzi and Zaiwu. Yeah. Zaiwu's not actually peaking mid. And also because... Mezzi's got to know that. 
Apex as well is just barreling, he's shooting through a smoke, but I, and no one is shooting back. So technically, he's got no reason to think there is a threat in front of him. And when that's the case, it is your duty to let your teammates know, hey, by the way, it's calm. It's calm here. Yeah, be careful. Just shooting. Be mindful. Just shooting. Nothing's happening. They got to be somewhere. But those are found. those are sometimes the small details that slip away when you're getting destroyed like this. Yeah, you're but, right. But Vitality's playing for a B hit. Apex all the way back in library. Mezzi, the only one aggressive in the A bomb site with any kind of resistance to be provided. And think back of how Maus were playing. And look at now Vitality, almost no movement. B barely now it's starting to happen. Now there is a shift happening. For 30 seconds. People just waiting, and this could be everything. Surgeon finds the kill. Does he call back the rest of them? Does he call the stack? Shui has to make a decision. Uh, he's not going to want to hunt with an AK-47, right? They're just going to commit to this B bomb site. He'll be an, an eventual lurk, looking for one backstab on the rotation, looking to backstab into the bomb site. But best chance Vitality's got. Yeah, and Apex has started off with a bang. Finishes off Jimmy. Flames does well, looking good. Flames are multi. Torji very low, 20 seconds for this T side. The bomb has just been retrieved. Torji's got his knife out, trying to get away. There's no way for him to leave. And Spinks hunts him down. Exertion last seen on A. With 10 seconds left, he needs the double. It's impossible if they play this right. Apex is out of there, he knows what's up. He's rounded the corner and Spinks will collect the head. So first blemish on the record there for Maus. Still a massive lead, but a good opportunity for Vitality to close the gap and maybe start hoping that a comeback is underway. It's just about finding yourself beyond winning the map. It's about finding yourself for Vitality. Oh, I, imagine, I, I imagine Apex is going to give a pretty banging speech between maps. Oh, that's lovely. From Brolan, Flames, the flash combination, the Molotov to retreat was a beauty. This too from Brolan, he's actually gone past him in the smoke. Apex, none the wiser. Saiwoo doesn't know. Oh, now, now he does. Now he does. <laughs> Brolan's just gone and found himself a famas. Apex will find Shui now. The penny drops. Okay, wait. But he's only one piece. Apex knows there's one behind him. This kill is everything for Apex. Everything! Big from Dan. Yeah, but CT spawn. There's been a gap. This wrap around, Mezzi this time is prepared. Crosshair on the angle, needs it to be clean. It's not, he drops in. But Jimmy's low and he's gonna back away from the fight. Deep nade, deep utility, and they're holding Mouse off for the moment. 30 seconds, so he's arrived just in time. Will stop exertion with the D. Now only Torji, he loses the AWP. Oh, get that AWP, baby, free AWP. Get it in Zywoo's hands right now. That's an X Factor on CT Inferno. I would prefer him to stay on the rifle. Would you really? <laughs> oh, I actually would do. Would you really? I actually do. I have Hell seen. No. I have seen games where the start is slow as is, and first you get multi kills with the rifle, and then you put the AWP in your hands when you feel it. But of course they're gonna take it. You're right. By the book, theoretically, you're absolutely there. I've just I've seen games like that happen in the past, <laughs> yeah. and I know how it works out. As I say it, smoke and the molly combo to ensure top banana is theirs. Give them some breathing room. And a key timing as well. Oh my God, they're committing to it. With only wow. two players, Vitality give everything they got. Now it's Flamesy alone. They didn't see him. They oh. didn't see him. Oh, what a transfer. Beautiful spray from Flamesy. I think there's a smoke on Apex's body as well, but Flamesy didn't find it. The fact he gets away with that. High impact double. Flames goes looking for more. An audible reload. He oh, is he's going to get trouble. hunted here. And it's Shui. Can't close it. The high flyer. Able to post the frag. Torji left with one HP in the 1v4. There's nothing for him here. All right, stylistically, very different CT sides so far from both of these two teams, but I mean, much the same in terms of outcome in that Vitality has now put Maus a little bit on the back foot, shut down this first gun round. They're being a little bit more paranoid about what angles can be at risk. Now, this is a play that started the comeback from Vitality against Astralis, and it was Sphinx who did it, and he's doing it again now. He's being held and chewy. A banger to open up for round 20. I respect the balls it takes to make that call during this comeback to right, switch no things help. up and go aggressive. No help whatsoever as well. Not a flashbang to turn the corner, not a deep nade to throw Shui off. You've just ran five rounds consecutive back to close the gap and now you find yourself throwing an aggressive maneuver and it doesn't work. And Maus love that. That's the style of Maniac just talking about taking quiet map control and trying to be as silent as possible. Getting a 5 on 4 is absolutely perfect for how Maus want to play this T side. Messi, big nice. job to do. An instantaneous dispatch of Jimmy. 
and that they know that's an information, that's a name tag. So I was going to be here on time. Yeah, they've been delayed by the CT incendiary. Brolin trying to push through. The HE does significant damage. The flash no push. It's actually Flames that takes a peek out from Dark. Brolin Damn. finds another through the smoke. One, sure, the second is beautiful. Zywoo's missed his chance. That was an opportunity to get back into the round. I'm not so certain anymore that that's available. Shui, not anticipating Zywoo to stay planted towards the ruins. Now it's about a hard clear. Zywoo goes down. Not ready for exertion in the 1v2. It's up to Mezzi. He's done well. He hasn't got the third in him. No fear from Brolan there. He just strafes out, takes the fight, and puts Maus onto map point. It's a nice swing from Brolin at the end, but even better is that blind swipe of the mouse right into the smoke. This, this one right here, to the knowledge of where the next rotation is going to come through and a little bit of luck on his side. They peeked off of it a little bit. I don't know if Apex was there to come through that smoke completely. I don't think he was quite ready. Oh, that's a tag. That's a leg shot. Peace. That's a headshot. That's a second time over that half wall. Maus has gotten a kill from that jump. It was Apex in the first half. Pissed around and got his head removed by Torji. Zywoo's all better deliver and it will. Cleans up the kill on exertion. But there's more coming. Face the shot beautifully. Zywoo's one trying to do everything he can to delay. Mezzi's even found a big one onto Jimmy. That's back to back rounds. Impact's not been able to get past Mezzi on the defense. Last smoke of the B-bomb site just got deployed by Apex as he shifts deep into the site. So you have a rotation coming in from Zywu who's got a full kit of utility. The only thing he's missing is a Molotov. For Maus, however, no smokes. How do you get in? The calm. Quickly interrupted. Brolin pushing smoke. Zywu hitting shots. With that AWP, Torji is going to lose his if he's not careful. Sphinx is on the hunt. And a couple Whoa. of misses here from Torji. That's uncharacteristic. That's a little unusual. And that's Vitality CT half getting a little out of control now. They are up six CT rounds. So what's the next move? Break. Zaiwu lining it up for Sphinx. Trying to get the timing right, but no one's going to be visible. Now Maus no. They've got the green light to go. They need to shift one more player into the bomb site for this hit. They need a little bit stronger. One missed flash from Maus. Zywoo's looks like it's going to be right on the money. Oh, Mezzi too early. A team flash. Brolin into the site. Is this how it ends? With Tech Nines and a single Galil. Exertion of Big Frag. Vitality in trouble. Vitality conditioned to be afraid of the rap side, and it weakens the main defense of the bomb site, and it all crumbles. Perfect calling by Shuei. He set that up over this entire second half struggle. And Maus, you don't lose this. Oh, and Shuei just salt in the wound with a B250. Takes down Apex, takes down his rival. Maus takes down Vitality. Map one of this grand final. A convincing start. Vitality, it's time to put your heads together. Video games with the boys. We're back into a T-side start for Mal. He's going to be sending it out ramp and mid. Oh, a fast drop down into lower for Vitality to open this up. But they've got Shui, Captain of Mal's to go up against. And as mentioned, in great form. They deal with him immediately. Nice start in the pistol here for Vitality. An early 5v4. And no chance at the trade if you're Maus. When they try to get out middle, Messi is there and he strikes, taking that advantage even further. Flames will get dinked up, but he answers back in a big way. He survives at one HP. And as Jimmy goes looking for this kill, might, I was going to say never get offered up, but there's trades here at least, Ooh, or so no. you'd like to think. Apex recovers Needed before that. it gets awkward. Oh, yeah, okay. Definitely cause for concern there in that 2v4 when Jimmy picks two players out of nowhere, but Mezzi with a big pistol round coming in. Miles are entering middle, they don't know. Wait, both smokes yeah, window and Kong. Is that both purpose? Could they, could they really be hoping for the fight from Zaiwu? They seem very ready for it. So maybe by design for Miles. Fantastic grenade from Mezzi. There's two players on 50. I mean, that would be audacious, missing both your smokes on purpose. Don't see that every day. Jim Pat, deep in B. He can get ahead of the smoke. Listening for the jumps from Mezzi, gets spotted. 
Mezzi tucks in, calling back Spinks with a Molotov, but Jimpat hits a headshot. They're in the B-bomb site right now. They're in for a round. But yeah, you know that in this round you have the advantage with the AKs, no op in play. So potentially just something where you keep that player in the window so you can get that fight, get the trade. A lot more attention put in mid from Vitality to open up this oh, round, but it. Mao's, they want nothing to do with middle. Instead, oh, it's just going to be exertion, leading from the front, trying to run down Mezzi. Oh, the rest sorry. of the gang move in behind him, and that's a clean opener there. Uh, weird TK, but maybe you can still battle your way through this round if you're Mao's. Brolin makes it into Ooh. the site, and Torshi's left fighting from back of the apartments. Nice flick back from Brolin. And now it's just Flames, 1v3, rotating into a lost B bomb site. Maybe a lost cause of a round here. Not given anything, and so he off to the team kill, but you say scrappy, that's exactly what it felt like. Torchy just mowing them down with sprays from the balcony. It's a little awkward. It's also, again, Mezzi getting caught at B. He, they jump over the Molotov, or they run through the Molotov while he's jumping, and he doesn't realize. Tries to get on the balcony, gets spotted. Whole round is downhill from there for Vitality, despite a temporary 4v3. Yeah, he also dies there with the smoke, so... A spam gives him a little kind of channel through the smoke to peek through. Spinks oh. landed the jump up towards wow. the short side, and so he tries to get involved in these mid-fights, and it's a lot of damage done. This tag team of Brolin and Jimmy have gotten away with murder over here, it be it feels like. And they're gonna try that again. As he hears them dropping in, that nice. one's free. And there's no chance at the trade from Jimmy. He's gotta swing this wide and he can't get past Messi. Who holds his own over towards the B site, and now he's got support Ooh. in the form of Zai Wu. Scary to jump that, but missed shot from Torshi, and Messi's not gonna go back to that jump up. But they'll have a lot of 2v1s, certainly opportunities to find space towards that B-bomb site while they're just simulating mid-control. Don't know how Spinks got out of that. Let's see what Vitality do with this B problem. Let's tell me if a boost on B. Two players going in. This is a response from Vitality, taking this space back. That has been a bit of a focal point for Mal so far. Zershan walking in backwards. Spinks has got to clear this up and above as well. Off angle, Jimmy hits his head, and Zershan follows up. That's a B-site crumbling, cracking, and really the round one, unless some heroics come through for Apex. Yeah, he's oh. forced into a wide oh. swing here. Damage done on a Jimmy. They don't make life easy for Apex. Careful. He's able to repel the B play. That kind of takes the wind out of the sails of Maus here. They're very split up. 2-2 two, two across either side of the map. Oh, what? Oh, that's a huge double up from Torshi into the market. And suddenly the <laughs> round is lost. The round is over. One bullet is all it takes. Resmoke's on A. This feels a little bit more telegraphed now for Maus and Vitality are even taking space back. Ooh, as I didn't see that. Or maybe he did. Flames can find the bomb right here. He's seen Shui. Oh, oh my god, I what? don't know how Shui wins uh -oh. that. Timing. Apex now has the drop on down. They're starting to close in all around him, but Zai Wu's got his back. Exertion knocked out of the round, trying to get up and over the stairs. Double luck. Jimmy from the same position now through Khan. Knocks out Apex over towards the apartments. Jimmy making moves here, pushing all the way up through jungle. Trying to cause some chaos in the back lines of Vitality, this but they're double set up at CT. Still super awkward with no smoke. How do you stop Zai Wu? Oh, he's swinging this wide right now. No timing found by the ramp player. Zai Wu now entrenched over towards the oh, side. No. Find it there, and it takes Bro. And swinging out, oh. he deals death the way of Vitality. Two quick kills on the Palace Lurk. Spinks, they line up for him, but it's not enough. What, what do you think about that pushback in, Yanko? Both players moving in, in the mid round, three on three, trying to AWP on default. I think they're just trying to create some space, make a play, but I think that was just a really well put together round for Mouse. In the 3v3, Jimmy using his utility for Brolan to play together. Maus, they're feeling it right now. Yeah. 
Flames will have to put up something here. Apex by his side, but they're still so focused on mid, despite that top mid control for Spinks. Finally, Vitality realized they're moving back in. Here's the push out through Palace. Zai Wu gonna secure the opener, makes it a double. Now this might be in trouble here. That bomb gets away from them. They left a man down, even though Exertion claims one back on the mid push. Now they know that it's just two players for the mouse squad over here, pressuring from Ramp and Palace. They're going back to fight the mid luck, Exertion. And with that smoke in at the top of Khan, they realize that Vitality up and left this. And I feel like now they should be ready for this wrap round. They should no be ready kit. for the flank. When you haven't seen anyone in the site, you're expecting Vitality went and made that move to clear out middle. Being considered, but it's a long wrap through Palace. Three in spawn. They need Ooh. a good flash here. And it's not coming in. Oh, oh no. no, another collateral from Torchy Zor. He's blessed today. And it's just Apex left on this lurk out through Palace. It was being oh. considered, but he can't find all three. Great reaction from Exertion to put a stop to that clutch. And Mal's run wild. There is an early swing for Torshi in middle and a desperate buy for Vitality. Two rifles, one of which dropped on Catwalk in the hands of Zai Wu. The Wu v Su. And it's the Polish in-game leader to come through. Captains both opened up in this round. Good response from the Flamesy Deeg. Exertion left up in this one all alone. Clean tap on a Sphinx. Gets it down to the 1v2. I mean, if you're Vitality, you desperately want this round, right? You've had chances. You've had opportunities across the last couple. But this one, a 2v1 on a, on a round where you came into it with just two rifles. Vitality needs something down the tail end of this half. And it's Exertion between them and that goal gets the first. Messi dead. It's left onto Flames in the 1v1. Exertion gets that bomb planted. Flames doesn't spot him. Exertion goes hunting! Oh. And Flames, with well, that last flame, that last hope, gets snuffed out by Exertion. 1v3 clutch, as though Maus needed anything else to go their way. They're now up on eight. Similar track for the last map, 9-3 half, staring us in the face right now. This is, I mean, and it's problematic. The worst thing about, like, when this is happening in a game is there's no clear and easy fix for it. If it's something tactically, right, you know, you're, you're, you're getting outmaneuvered, you can make adjustments, but here it's just individually small mistakes happening. Just Mezzi at this B side, they've come in, they haven't cleared this position. He's popped out behind the Molotov, burning alive. Jimpak gets that crucial trade. The bomb's coming in. Vitality once again, kitless on a retake for the last round of the half. They've got to give it a go. I'm not planted yet. This flank being considered, but for how long? Bomb has been planted. Clash of the captain, Shui on the, on the angle, and Apex walks right into it. That one's free. The Zai Wu Warp is out and over at the short side, trying to make a move. Zai Wu's got to stand and deliver, but he's swung on by Jim Pat. And so it's a damn near flawless T side put forward from Maus. They lose the pistol. Outside of that, they only drop one rifle round on their map pick. Missed window molly. Doesn't make your life any easier. Shui peeks mid and Zersha comes in with a flash as well. It's Brolin to take first blood. Everyone coming through for Maus. Vitality only oh. a site, but with no smokes, the question is for how long? Especially oh. for blind side Wu. Bomb's gonna go down default, but they are not positioned for this post. Zai has gotta get aggressive and get kills here. All right, look, Zai Wu with a P250 at Tetris. True. Cracks Pro knuckles. League. Where have we seen this before? Let's see what he can get away with here. You want a strong start from Zai Wu in the pistol. Hell, Vitality. They need it. It is a requirement here. Oh. This cannot be a middling game. Zai Wu, clean tap in for the second. Swinging out for even more. They might know where he is. They're trying to isolate Messi. But to do that, they've got to walk into the prying eyes of the Zai Wu P250. Oh. Left onto oh. Messi. And he can't convert it. Brolin steps up big time. Oh, but time. Gonna be close, but I think he's got this. Real close. Double oh. digits locked in. Oh, perfect. Second round orb. And Put Roland, to use. Roland also with an aggressive push in apps, finds the entry kill, but now gets punished by Spinks and Zaiwu. Ooh. All right. 
Nice little tag out of flames. Good luck. They're coming for you, buddy. They've dropped in. They really want this. Mac 10's gonna get out with one, honestly. Flames does a fair job there. Full reset for Zershan because he's scared of middle, but that actually puts him in a great position. He can cut off the B play if it was happening. He actually regroups, opts to go back with his captain. Couldn't be a better time for this move as Zaiwu comes out top mid, looking the wrong angle. Shui finds it. Got to be ready for Spinks. Quick trade, 1v1, and he'll take it as well. It's now against the Orb. Does Torshi opt for the side on? How close is the call? Oh! Just comes swinging. Oh. They're mental back into the game. I mean, what was that last map? It was similar, like 11-4, and Vitality almost made it overtime. They pulled a... Uh, a lot back in that second half. Can Torshi right his wrongs? He gets one. Right now. No smoke to stop this. He can light them up. That's a missed shot. Need every one you can get. Flames is half. Can someone finish the oh. job? Mezzi picked a ramp. Gives a gun and room to Brolin. And the scout goes over the top. Vitality know they're walking into a stack. And so the bomb evades. Oh dear. Another kill found for Brolin. And even going over towards B. Sure, you've spotted two. You know that Jimmy could still be found floating around over towards the B site. And look at Maus, they're trying to get ahead of this. And because Vitality have slowed for even a moment, Maus, as quick as you just ran into two players over on A, you're now running into two more over here in the B site. It's like they're multiplying. Sphinx, bit of damage done. They've softened up Jimmy and he can't get anything from that swing, but Sphinx is running low on ammo. As this push comes in, Ooh. he's only got two bullets left and he gets run down. This is Zywoo's moment, it has to be, if Vitality want to stay alive on Mirage and they line up for him. That's back-to-back -back clutches for Vitality. You'll take what you can get. Zershan, opening kill here. He can get out if he wants. He goes back for more. Bloodlust gets to him. Torshi sprays through the smoke. Him and Shui combine. Flamesy low and gone now as Sphinx. This clutch should be a bridge too far. But it just hasn't been clean from Vitality, you know, amid smoke, then you need to re-smoke it. When you do that, it's a tell, right? You know, you're really there. You're really trying to uh, take mid, makes it easier for the CTs to rotate around, don't have Ooh. to be so scared. Does it again. From some other things on the map happening. Look at what uh, a little bit of confidence does to Mouse as well, right? Jimmy's coming with aggressive moves over towards the B apartments. Ooh. That one from Shui as he tries to fight through the con smoke will get punished. Early advantage taken for Vitality. Jimmy's still on this aggro angle, and there is the chance at the 4v4. But he doesn't want to play his hand too soon. He's in a very forward position right now, and he's freeing up more resources across the map. So, never finds Apex, never takes that fight. Apex is going to get left to his own devices on that P250, while the rest of Vitality group up for the A hit. Oh. Is someone covering? The AWP is just looking the wrong way. Thank goodness that flash blinds Brolin. Zershan had that kill. He had Zywoo on a plate. But flash puts Vitality ready to convert this 5v3. Miles is still playing for it, though. They're leaning in. Zershan's going to hear these steps. He knows what's, he knows what's coming. Going to swing and miss. Spinks crucial double entry in this round. I don't think these Constellation kills are going to tempt Miles back into the lion's den. Spinks is ready to find his third. Jimbat doesn't know how close to death he is. Bit by bit, round by round, Vitality try and warm back into Mirage. Miles also make the jump into window. Vitality get all mid control. I mean, look at Apex go. He's already in chair. Gone immediately to Zershan. Roland looks to put the heat on as well. Nade up top mid. He goes through the connector smoke. This could just be a setup. In one more kill for Brolin would be fantastic in this position. Flames comes through the smoke. Ooh, that's on his that's own. Bomb no well. support. Zywu miss shot. This is going from bad to worse. Brolin somehow survives. Spammable still. Zershan can play when they realize this is a commitment. It's about to come through. There's Jim Pat helping out. zywu has got to save the day. It's only Spicks on 15 points of health. Oh, Zywu dies, getting nothing done, and they know right where Sphinx is. They try to box him in. There's no win in this for Sphinx. They've got him trapped in a corner. Almost winning trophies.
This is meant to be a title contending team. The goal is to win trophies. Yeah. Not almost. Oh. What's that? Look, man. Apex, Apex. backstab. Oh, straight out towards ramp. Should be playing through the smoke. No one's looking. Oh, dear. Those are all for oh. free. Shui looking to put a stop to Vitality. He's run on Mirage. Oh, oh, oh. oh missed shot from Toshi, <laughs> but there's not even an adjustment. Sphinx is run Goodbye. through, and it's just Flames. AWP left alone at ramp. Maus have got this one teed up, and they'll finish off Flames, and with it, take a 2 0 lead in this BO5 Grand Final. Let's go, let's get into it. Mouse on the CT side. And um, Alex is your favorite. Seven guns on the pistol. My Can favorite. you believe it? I do wonder to see who's gonna draw first. Blood, and it's a quickie for exertion. Before he even gets to start his pistol, Sphinx is canceled and Brolin has managed to find flames waiting hut as well. We have started and already Mouse continue where they left off. The odds have flipped and reversed. After Mao showing up to this grand final in grand final form. If they convert this, this should be four out of the five pistols so far. True. You were paying attention, Chad. Someone had to be. <laughs> <laughs> so towards the ramp we go, limping towards the lower bomb side potentially. At this point, Chad, I reckon just a bomb plan would be the main objective. Could be very difficult to even win this round. And then maybe even competitive start to this half. So new objective for Vitality, still have a bit of utility to work with, so it's not futile. There's an opportunity for Apex, Mezzi, and Zywu to stick the landing on the True. cash injection. So, yeah, maybe an Astralis plan could come through, but Jimfa is such a powerful position with the USP here. How are you dueling with the Glock? I don't know. Uh, we'll see if he comes out oh. on top here. Kind of fluffs his line somewhat, though. Not the cleanest shots, now they know exactly where he is. The Molotov deployed in that position, but it doesn't slow Jimfa down whatsoever. Oh. Beautiful hat trick and a clean pistol for Mouse. A little bit of attitude from Jimmy as well there. And the, the scoreline doesn't tell the full story as well. Yeah, sure, at 13-9, but they got back into a bit of a cosmetic comeback, as we call it. Uh, it looked like a bit of a blowout before they started fighting oh. a few rounds. And my God, it's going from bad to worse here. Clean through the smoke. Roland will find Sphinx. Smoke towards Squeaky Door, and they're trying to find some traction towards outside. It's Apex. On the front lines here, Zywu behind him. They have still got four smokes, but Torji had a hell of a tournament here. He comes in towards Secret. He's going to spot the head of Apex momentarily. We'll see who comes out on top. He's thinking about smoking it. Torji can play ahead of that. I'm not really sure that smoke does a whole oh. lot for them. He hears him. Torji well aware. Relays the information. And actually chooses to stay in the smoke. And now with his back turned, the timing in oh, favors Mao. Both of them fall. Zywu, he's doing everything he can, but brought low. Jimmy and finished off by exertion. Folks, this is already feeling a bit like, you know these rounds that just fly by? Yeah. Vitality, they're suddenly sitting there at spawn like, what's happened? It's 3-0. And I was just doing some quick maths. So the key factors for a lot of that have been opening kills. So over the first two maps of play, oh, Mao's were able to get that. 28 opening kills over 43 rounds play. Uh, right. So that's the 15 opening kills for Vitality. And now wow. to start off this map, all three rounds. Three players towards outside. Again, finding some decent space there. Torji taking significant damage, waiting for the spam to come through as he does vacate the secret room. Lots of utility being thrown in that direction. We've got Zershan, Stone Cold killer of this tournament as well. The whole unit of mounts looks fantastic throughout. Flames, finally, something Ooh. working in their favor, but it's an equal trade for now. Apex will find Zershan outside. And this is looking likely to be a Vitality round here. Torji finds the kill. We're back to a three on three. Yeah, that death of Apex may haunt them. Things will slow down. They pause towards Hut. They have a little main pressure. And it's Shuey that brings the fight to Mezzi. Good Lord. Hell of a peak. Wow, they just look quite static in this three versus two right now. Who's going to make the first move? They're letting the game come to them and they're getting pants every single time. Oh, there's another kill back. Now it's just Shuey. Speaks oh. looking the wrong way. He'll finish it off. 5-0. Running away with it. It does really hinge off of that. They have been given ramp. That's something that they'll be aware of. Torji, at least. Oh, he's so ready for it. Torji goes looking, and he's managed to find himself one. It's a second. Beautiful. Perfect expectation for the second as well. Jim Pat falls away. Just delaying, there dragging, you. fleeing from Maus. Spotless in the defense of the low site. Just the Tech Nines, admittedly, but where are Vitality? They're on the milk cans right now, absent. Oof, pack their bags, we'll see them Missing. in the lobby. 
Oh dear, this is such a nice sequence of Zershan as well. They're just feeling it. He's got the whole hand. He's had it all tournament long. Another great sequence from Jimmy. Like we said, he's one of the best RAM players. Always tenacious, always staying alive. Squeaky Nade. peek with the AWP. Exertion keeps searching, and well, he's seen Flamesy. Oh, come Another on. opening kill. <laughs> he's, uh, he's just an opening kill vendor. Open for business. I think that's four from him now. He's not done yet. He wants another slice of the pie here. Doesn't fall back, doesn't maintain the advantage, wants to keep fragging. And I don't mind it whatsoever. He's under their skin right now. No one's turning up. Seems like they've lost that killer instinct on the vitality side. And you've been praising Jimmy. Oh, oh my yeah, goodness. Oh, that nade. Zywoo and Apex already worse for wear. They're not even going to clear him. It's a nice oh, one from Exertion. Chad throwing the towel. Time not defending out. themselves. Somebody. It's ridiculous. And how quick this has been. Bloody hell. They've, they've, they've fallen off here. There's still a slight chance they can recover this round. Four on twos. We've got Mezzi and Sphinx. Oh, come on! Jeez, that is not the kill you were looking for. Jimmy, Stone Cold, pushes towards Lobby, and they know where Sphinx is. He's actually got up the ladder, though. Maybe an interesting play can occur. They'll have no idea, so he maybe gets a freebie here. Oh, it's just so tantalizing. Oh, he team flash. Oh, he's got team flash. No! What? Oh, oh, chance! He just got team flashed back into Sphinx's line of sight, How and he not... still can't stick the landing. Sphinx is spray today. Oh. That's a mare. Oh, I, I Look, look at the amount of kills in seven rounds of play. You guys can all do the maths at home. That is ridiculous. Seven kills. For all of them. In seven rounds of play. And seven oh. deaths each. How didn't he die? Got one HP. Oh my God. Like he was suppressing a yawn there. I don't know if this is... Uh... Well, he's not out of bed. Yeah, yeah you're right. Okay, they are testing Yard again. I can't believe they're going back towards Exertion's domain. If he keeps this up, he's my MVP. Screw what Zyru did against the uh, teams in the... Whoa, oh, okay. okay. Oh, oh, All right. I didn't even know that was possible. That was sick. Zyru showed us what you could do with the orb. Now on the scout through blue. All right, we need this one, boys. Come on now. Five and four. Some Zywu magic required here. He's got the AK-47, Sphinx with the Galil. A couple of rough rounds as Torji starts to fire back. Brawler mowing them down as well. Significant damage towards their MVP. Zywu doing his best, and it's Sphinx to actually find the advantage once again. But Brawlan rotating down towards Vent. Shui applying pressure from Main. Huge kill. Funnels him down towards Lower. And guess who's waiting? It's Brawlan. Had a fantastic grand final so far. And this is for round number eight on the board. Vitality. They could go off the Vents. Bear in mind, Zywu. Limping into the side with 16 HP. They have got a smoke for the plant here. So it's going to be a lower finish. And Brolan probably can't deny the plant if they smoke it. It's a big if, Henry, because it's open. As are the doors. Zywu into the 1v1. Shui on the rotation down the vent. Keeps it silent. Zywu with such low HP, he has to play this perfectly. And it's coming into a head-on collision. Zywu ignites Vitality's hope of having a T-side they could be... It can re I think what that does is show you the importance of mood within a team. Sure. Right? NIP has been an absolute shit show for years, and I think that showed from Brolin. Now, Sphinx, you have to hit this one. There you go. Will, uh, will he have done that alone? Yeah, you know? You wouldn't think so. Torgy's posted on it, so anyone returns will be cut down by the orb, but ratting the smoke. Sphinx now has hit talking. his stride. Taking some calculated risks, and he's being rewarded for it. Shui onto Flames outside. He's managed to find one back. Sphinx seems like he's alert for the possibility, but Torji's got the better gun yeah. for the fight. So those opening couple of kills nullified now by Miles. Three on three, sub one minute. We still have decent utility on the T side, but no control of Tough the map clear. whatsoever. How are they even going to get this one, Chad? No way, that's just feeding him a frag, essentially. Yeah, but how do you even flash into that type of an angle? Zywu, his position now over towards Warehouse, could get surrounded as Apex needs to find some space. He just had to peek it again as well. They've got no control. Missing Zywu oh, though towards main this. entrance. He's got him. He's relayed the information and he provides the headshot. Apex dips down the vents. Okay. A winnable 1v3 if he gets the bomb plan here. The captain's clutch? It will have to be. Uh, otherwise, this is a harsh reset. Bear in mind, only one player survived the run they won. It was a partial buy, so the money won't be completely broken, but oh, he's certainly not a great spot. Oh, he's in so much trouble. A missed orb shot from Torji. Still, though, he's in trouble. Torji confirms it on the second pull of the trigger. A triple kill from the Orpa. Yeah, a little slacking today. We'll see if they can bounce back. It's round 10. Only a few more to go. They've been finding a few opening picks in the last few rounds, but uh, it's Torji once again up to his usual tricks. Zywood gets his kill all day long. Now, they did this push before. Oh, <laughs> oh the confidence, God. man. 
He is feeling himself. Oh, he knows where Messi is. Yeah. The vending machine gave him up, and he's just going to pre-fire this. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, not backing down, baby. Triple oh. kill in back-to-back -back rounds from the ramp position. Vitality must just be so frustrated. What can they even do? Can't get past him. Yeah, like, he's going to get an ace if you just keep dry peeking him. So you've got flames left with Apex. They've got one smoke between them, a four on two, and a round that feels like it's must-win at this stage. Flames get to kill, I believe. Yeah, no problem. So something to work with here. Not much, but something. Smoke down by his Torji, 20 seconds towards the ramp from... Pretty much closes it down for business. Going to pop it open and see if anyone's flirting with the idea of pushing. Good flash. Lots of smoke from them. Interesting to get the bomb. And now in towards the upper side we go. And I think it's open. Towards the vent. One player. It's going to be Brolan. Oh, the timing could be brutal here again, yeah, boys. Who takes first contact here? It's actually going to be Brolin up the vent. Exertion draws fire. Now Flames' his attention is drawn. And now from the vent position, outside squeaky, it's Brolan for a ninth CT round. Mao's in full control. Uh, you're like, just peek him, just swing him, just fight him. Who cares? Here we go. Fire opening, does it matter? Let's find out. That's a great shot from Zaiwu. They need a lot more where that came from. They have fully invested into the round. It's Galil, Scouts. But a Zaiwu AK could be enough to win this round, and Lord knows they need it. 9 1. Two more rounds left to play. They've got the opening kill once again. It's Spinks has slipped the net. I think they win this round off that alone. Oh, they heard the orb. Now they've taken it down. Here he comes. It's up heaven already. Okay, free, this is a free round. round. Uh, Hello? Jeez. Okay. We're fine. We're all good. That's a round. And they've battered the finances, so three. Actually, no, now that I've said that, I am reflecting if Jimmy. I don't think he's going to stay alive, but still. We've got 6k on Shui. Prolon's got 5.5. Toji with 4.1. Exertion will have enough to buy after the loss. It, it will work into the final round to play for the half. To be tested is Brolan. Torji back to his usual lobby crunch. Jimmy antics. can smoke door from the vent. Oh, that's a very well timed smoke. They've got to go. They've got to push through it. Push through it. Goes the boost. Nice idea, actually. Yeah, ooh, spotted it out. Exertion, however, he pokes out, crouches into the angle, finds the head of Sphinx. That's a first blood draw, and Vitality, the jig is up now. They know what's up. And oh, now the no. bodies are dropping. They've capitulated into their own demise, one by one. Exertion, he's a turret. You can't get past him. Triple kill, 15 frags. Mezzi is known for his clutches. This would be one hell of a feat if you can pull it off. It's a three versus one. And the reposition, they can't find anyone. 10 rounds from Mouse. They are three away from back to back Pro League titles. And they've got two rounds to boast, Henry. They, they need an old school nuke CT side here. Park the it's bus, set it up, and it's going to be the opening frag for Vitality. What is Jesus. going on, guys? That was 12 bullets. He just has to reload without a single frag. And Brolan. Oh, dear. The new addition. He wasn't there for season 18, but now he gets to do it. Where's the bomb? Oh, geez. Flanking Apex is none the wiser. This late arrival from the yard. He's going to overlook in the smoke. Sphinx will tap. 3v3. A must-win round for Vitality. Better getting further and further out of reach. Zaiwu has to have a Zaiwu round. He's good with the pistols. Oh, Jimmy's Jimmy. He's disconnected. He's going for the rat maneuver. All the way towards heaven. He's called the bluff on the first defuse. Now he's up the heavens. Oh. Flamesy's hit the first, but they're not ready for oh. that. What is that from Flamesy? Gives Vitality the pistol. 5 HP. It doesn't matter. He's nailed it. M4's out in spades. We've got Mezzi on the MP9. Nice damage at the start. Zershin out of 62, but a deadly scalp. Nice shot from Apex, but he goes down to brawl on the AK-47, will find first blood. And Zai Wu, not his best showing in the grand final thus far. Still time to step up and deliver. Look at how many bodies are responding to this. Literally all of them. Look look at the X-Ray. Uh, Vitality, uh, they want this space and they want it bad, but they've given up the rest of the map by doing so. This is unusual. And Flames, oh, he has caught Shui. He doesn't get the frag though, and now the response is on its way. A missed shot from Torji leads to Flamesy retreat and equalizing frag. You said they gave up all that space. It seems they've managed to hoover up ramp once more. It's theirs. And they're aggressing into the Brolan Jimmy side. Oh, a double from Spinks. Can't quite make the third happen. Might be ready for this. Oof. Yeah, that's the bomb. Disconnected from Torji. Thinks twice about it. They were actually re-aggressing onto him. He's in trouble, but he's aware. 
Oh, oh, exception. How has he done that? <laughs> what? Ready for two on the squeaky How are push? you ready for two? But Zyra wins these for fun, Chad. You know that. He's certainly supposed to. Down towards lower, potentially. Off we go. Oh, come on. There it is. So, Zywoo on the back foot, certainly. No kit, at least on his body right now. He can probably recover one on the upper side somewhere, but right now, assuming it's down towards Lara, it's a safe plan from Torji, the 1v1. Torji in the conversation for an MVP con candidate here this tournament. As now, Zywoo will enter the bomb site. He's got a bit of an opening. Oh. And there it is, finds the kill and keeps the dream alive. Chad, four kills found, another bomb planted. It's going to be another buy following this one. Yeah, back-to-back -back 1v1s as well. So this is tense. Skin of their teeth. If Vitality can batter through, right, Henry, this is the question. The type of buy that you'll see again, it would be Galil Heavy, maybe one AK in the mix, maybe two. If you're Maus, why not? You know that there's so much pressure on Vitality. Right now, Vitality have to weather this absolute storm. I think Apex has realized that that opening death could have been a fatal mistake. He's more passive now, and ooh, it's Zywoo that's chosen to take an opening engagement. Plugs Brolin out of silo. Jimmy holding up strong, and the exertion frag onto Zywoo means that this is a 4v3, and Jimmy's low HP. They're hearing this. Ran straight towards the top site. Spinks only gets the one in defense of it. No care, bear in mind. This bomb goes down. They're in a lot of trouble. Both CTs in towards upper, however. Oh, doesn't Flames see him. to see the barrel. Hello? Should oh. get the kill still, but not going to happen. Apex will clear the clutch now. Another one versus oh. one! And that's a massive issue now for Vitality. They will have zero loss bonus to work with here, Chad. As Zywoo scouts and Jimmy for now waiting for the pushes towards Squeaky. And he might be right in thinking so. They have to look for something here. Spamming the Deagle, hoping for an opening here. It spins his transitions down towards Secret. Shui trying to find an opening towards Ramp as well. And Zershim, the turret. Setting himself up. He's had such an amazing tournament. A brutal grand final as well. And I think he goes down here. Nice work from Sphinx. Opening kill on the AK found. A lot of info. He knows where a couple of the players are. So Flames now isolated on the ramp. Falls off. Vitality. This must win round. This pistol round. You've got the opening. You've taken down the hardest hitter. In so many ways. Then kill. And Jimmy might be challenged here. It all comes down to these frags towards the ramp room. Flames. Poised, ready to frag. Does strike in unison with Mezzi, gets away with his life. That will buy time. He's faffing around, looking for nades. Instead, he goes down to Torji, keeps Coming up Apex. the hunt. What Apex have you got? is low HP. Can he just jump out? Good. Makes the sound cue. No spam. Trying to knock him off the bomb. Torji interrupted by the Zywoo scout, but Shui will put him down as well. It's fallen apart for Vitality through their fingers. Spinks still yet to arrive. Got that okay though. Oh, and he's missed his first opportunity. They can smoke off the ramp now. He's considering saving, surely. I guess so, yeah. He's gonna take this people and he wins this fight. There we go. But bear in mind, he'll have no kid and no head. One round away from the trophy. Mouse, a fantastic performance. No kid as well. Notable. I, I just, I don't know how they win it. It'll take a miracle to win this round. And, uh, well, you've got players that can deliver those sort of performances. Zywoo and Sphinx, you're looking towards them. Both those players taking damage on route. Mouse just five kills away from the trophy here. Audible descent. Mezzi's covered by Apex. But this bomb is it's making Flames a lot of legway towards this lower side. Bolland going to go down and meet the SMG of Flames. Zywoo trying to slow things down. Mezzi actually catching Jimmy with a recovered AK-47. It puts it all onto Shui all in right. a clutch. A one versus four for the leader. He wouldn't, would he? He certainly could be cooking up trouble. However, now he's been brought low. Scout shot hit. Walking in the blind spot of Zywoo. Zywoo anticipates Time, he swaps to the SMG and with 20 seconds left, he's trying to focus on isolating Jules and he's managed to find Mezzi as well. Zywoo and Spinks remain, but time is against him. Zai was refusing to give him the frag he so desperately seeks. And now with nine seconds, he has barely got time to pick up the bomb. Five, four, gets it. Sphinx will run him down. He's gonna get run out. Two seconds left, one for the one oh. tap. Zai oh. dips into the window. <laughs> oh, Shui gave that everything it was worth. One frag away from it, a Bloody couple more hell. seconds. <laughs> Can you imagine that's the way it goes Zywoo down? in the open, last second. One Shui tap. finishes him off. Oh my god, I'd have jumped out of my chair. So that's not the GG moment, but my god, did he keep it tight as you like? <laughs> it's going to be three kills of Shui in this sequence and keeps him very modest on the CT side. Oh, definitely so.
Who's making a move, trying to get that backstab going in towards T-Spawn. You say it's so pack heavy, haven't Vitality on these CT maneuvers. Always grouped up, re-aggressing as a unit. Zywoo on that lower HP is now over towards ramp, and that appears to be where they're coming, Alex. Zywoo's got so much to do, but doesn't have the help for a head-on encounter. Torji, he finishes off oh, what his first man. scout shot started. That's the ace of their sleeve removed. The guy who's been clutching, keeping the game alive somewhat here. Three players rotating down towards lower chat. They're all in. CTs are here with presence, and Flames maybe can find a gap if he spams a smoke. It's a brittle smoke. So I think he gets a kill for this. Once he starts a spam, he'll get some vision. Looking for it. Bomb planted. This could be it, boys. Oh, he can't find anything. Mezzi's not got the weapon for this either. It's going to be Mezzi down. Yikes. Mouse on the precipice of victory, on the precipice of lifting back-to-back -back Pro League trophies. Flames is kicking up a fuss. Only the one. It falls to Spinks. He doesn't have the health. And Mouse will take it with ease. 3-0, Vitality absent today on the Grand Finals. You can see the face on Apex, that does just, it can't feel good. Frozen sniped by FaZe Clan, you fill his shoes, you join the ranks, and Maus integrating hey. Brolin into that roster. They come and do it again. Exertion at the front of that pack, such admiration growing for his style of play, his understanding of the game, and his willingness to take risks at, with the highest of stakes. In this grand final, he played his game, and Cyclone, he is the mastermind of this game. He's the one that's been pulling the strings, making this roster into what it is today. Mao Sports, now Mao's. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your champions of ESL Pro League Season 19! Mouse! Well, they've done it. They've done it convincingly. Give it up for Miles.